uniform luminescence, and it appeared as though the ship was sailing over a field of snow or gliding over the clouds. Reports like this are rarer than the supposed sightings of the Loch Ness Monster, and there was no photographic evidence. Some scientists, including marine biologist Stephen Haddock, were curious and sought confirmation from above. We wondered if you could find one of these ship reports where they, they record sailing through one of these milky seas and actually find the corresponding satellite data that cover that area at that same time. So we looked at this satellite from the ship report in 1995, and it was somewhat of a eureka moment. We, we cleaned up the noisy sensor image from the camera, we mapped it onto the ship track, and this 300-kilometer feature emerged on the map, matching exactly with what the ship had reported. So it was really an amazing moment. We were able to document the full extent of the Milky Sea over three successive nights as it rotated with the currents. So satellite images from the space age validated a piece of maritime folklore. On rare occasions, the oceans do glow. But what was causing a glow so bright that it could be seen from space? The answer can be found at the back of a neglected fridge. Left for a couple of days, this sea bream starts to glow. The fish itself has no light-producing ability. The glow is, in fact, produced by bacteria that are found in almost all seawater when they start to feed on decaying fish. On rare occasions when currents and temperatures cause a large bloom of algae in the ocean, these very same bacteria also feed on dying algae. Once they reach a critical concentration, their secretions trigger others to glow. They were glowing in such numbers that they can be detected by a satellite in orbit. Bacteria are among the most ancient forms of life, so they may have been the very first living things to glow.